a pin LED power driver board for our WPC games. And I wanted to show you a particular issue with the pin LED driver board with LEDs. Seems strange, I know. There you go, single lamps. And you can see, maybe you can see it a little bit, and there's some ghosting. It ghosts each lamp that flanks the lamp under test. So you can see the two that are adjacent to that. The bright one are ghosting. And this is true all the way through. When I get to the last column, column eight, you can see that column seven and column one are also ghosting. So that is not a problem if you have incandescent lamps or if you use the LED OCD product, which I highly recommend. But that is this is what you can expect to see if you have LEDs in your game and use the pin LED power driver board. So now I have the pin LED driver board and we can uh, do some more tests on it, solenoid test. All good, I'm gonna skip that. Let's do some GI testing and that's my GI tester. You can see each of the strings is lighting in turn. Very nice. Let's do a lamp and flash test. And you can see that all of the lamp circuits are working properly. I have uh, installed LEDs in this play field but I haven't installed the LED OCD board yet, so they would ghost a little bit. And here is the flash lamps rotating around in a clockwise fashion. Very nice. And that is it. I have played a little bit of whitewater and uh, this thing is delivering 4.91 volts on the five volt circuit and 14 volts in the 12 volt unregulated. So this baby is good to go. The original problem with this board was this fat right here was blown up. Now, why did it blow up? I have no idea. It is in the circuit to create sort of a graceful power up uh, to the bridge rectifiers. So I tested all five of the bridges that are underneath this humongous heat sink and they're all fine and clearly they're delivering all the voltages that they should be. So we're going to get it back to the client's game and see how it works out there. Thank you so much for sending it.